Death Squared is a puzzle game that must be played local co-op. While I think that's a pretty hard sell for most people, it's something I'm always looking out for. A game where both players feel useful. None of that one-sided stuff. Now I've been considering Death Squared as something I should try and what better time to pick it up than when it's on sale. Anyway, like I said, co-op only games are already a tough sell on Steam, but what makes Death Squared even worse off is that it's for two or four players only. Ouch. While you could potentially play alone for the two player portion, and you could play the four player part with just two people, I think that would be a mistake. Death Squared truly is a multiplayer only experience. It has 80 levels for the two player part and another 40 levels for four players. Yeah, that's a ton of levels and enough for six hours of gameplay for just the two player portion. Quite a decent amount of content, but only if you can get people over your house. If you've seen the trailer, then you know it's about moving a small cube around a 3D puzzle. What you can tell though is how much communication is required. While the puzzles are somewhat trial and error, it does take a lot of thinking to solve. Communication is key to having the right timing when hitting buttons or moving to protect your partner. When a level first loads, you need to see if you can test some of the buttons and move around. This will inevitably lead to death. You will kill your partner over and over and over. There's nothing you can do about it. Maybe you've figured out the puzzle, but slip a little, whoops, killed your partner with a laser. Death is a huge part of Death Squared. It's used to keep the mood light. It's impossible to complete Death Squared the first time through without any deaths. Just testing how a level works will kill your partner 9 out of 10 times. In fact, many of the deaths we had were just because sometimes it's fun to kill your partner. Pushing them off the edge is particularly satisfying. Death Squared will bring out the troll in everyone. Death isn't a real setback and restarting is quick. All the levels are pretty quick, actually, once you solve them. It's one of the aspects that makes it a great party game. It's teetering on the edge of too difficult with some of the puzzles, but even if your brain starts to hurt, you can throw in a few quick deaths in there to lighten the mood. The puzzles themselves are well done and have a few steps that require working through them instead of solving them right away. Of course, we figured out some a lot quicker than others, but a few took up to 20 minutes. If you don't get the solution right away, it's a lot of trial and error. Especially since when you come across something new, your chances of dying go up considerably. There are enough new mechanics that the game doesn't get boring though. Sure, they kind of reuse some of the mechanics, but flip them around. They were also introduced appropriately, so the game always seemed to have something new. One thing I consider for co-op games is how much one person has to do all the heavy lifting. For example, if one person has to continually solve all the puzzles, or if you're always waiting for someone to catch up. Another slightly connected aspect is if both people are having a good time. And I can say Death Squared does deliver in this aspect. For most of the puzzles, it was much more on the side of working together than not. Only a few times was someone directly giving movement instructions. I felt a sense of teamwork throughout the whole game. One thing is for sure, the comedy in Death Squared was unexpected. I anticipated the whole employee watching an AI simulation thing to get dumb fast, but it doesn't. The banter between Iris and Dave works pretty well since it includes not only jokes about your performance, but about their office. The writing and voice acting are both quite good. This also works to keep the game pretty light and silly. Just another reason it works so well as a party game. I had a lot of fun listening to the dialogue and was curious what was going to happen next. The most important part is that there was enough lines that it never got stale. Nothing ruins a game faster than hearing the same lines over and over and over again. Overall, Death Squared is a fun little puzzle game that really worked for me. It was fun in a party setting and required some thinking, but kept the atmosphere light enough that it was fun. Definitely recommend this for people who like Shift Happens or who are looking for something puzzly but not too difficult. Thanks for watching.